Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 44th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out two more string functions, probably the last in this, in this course and uh, the first one is the reverse function which uh, reverses the order of characters in a string, right? So let me just show it to you. I'll type in select and then reverse and then within parentheses I'll type in my string uh, argument and uh, let me just uh, you know type in a random string something like uh, C you later alligator oops yeah so that's it when I execute this query I see that in the result set I get this you know I, I really cannot make any sense out of this but uh, you know if you if you guys are wondering you know why would someone want to reverse the order of characters in a string you know I mean it doesn't make any sense but if you're making an application you know I mean something like uh, checking whether a string is a palindrome or not then you could use this function in the back end and you could use uh, you know some scripting language like php or python and uh, you know you could just check whether the whether the string you know that you want to check if if it's a palindrome or not whether that string and its reverse form is the same or not if the if both forms are the same then the string is a palindrome if both forms are different then the string is not right so that's one application of this function and i'm sure that you can think of you know uh, some more at least and uh, that brings us to our uh, last function, last string function, and uh, that is strcmp or the string compare function, right? So the strcmp function takes in two arguments, and both are obviously the strings that you want to compare with each other, and uh, it returns zero if both strings are absolutely same. It returns minus one if the first string is smaller than the second string, and it returns one if the second string is smaller than the first string, right? So by uh, you know a string being smaller than another string what i mean is if you would put in both strings in a dictionary then the one that would appear first in the dictionary you know by the order of uh, you know the characters or basically the first character determines which string is smaller and which is uh, bigger you know uh, you know based on that you would get uh, your output right so let me show you guys that function i'll type in strcmp the name of the function and uh, let me first uh, check for two strings that are same, right? So day with day, if I compare day with day, I see that in the output I get zero, right? Because both strings are same. And if I would compare day with the uh, night, then I should get minus one. Why? Because uh, day starts with D and night starts with N. And in a dictionary, if you would have these two words, then day would appear before night. So day is smaller than night. And when I would execute, I would get minus one in the output. And if I would check night with day, right, the third case, then I should get one. Yeah, so there you go, I get one this time because uh, you know this string is smaller than this string. Right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next tutorial in which we'll uh, discuss something interesting for sure. And you may subscribe to my channel and uh, take care.